Hello again folks, I'm standing on the runway at the World War II airfield RAF Bradwell Bay. This was well known for its squadron of Mosquito aircraft. Many other squadrons used it and different aircraft types. It was actually really well known for Tempest because they were able to tip the wings over of the V1 Doodlebugs and bring them down. It was also the only Essex airfield to have FIDO, the Fog Investigation Dispersal Operation. One of the other things that happened here was that where Allied aircraft were either shot up really badly or running out of fuel, they used to come into this airfield and land and then be looked after. We potentially have another visitor because both the French and the Chinese in a combination with EDF and the Chinese Nuclear Power Station Development Company, CGN, plan to build a Bradwell B on this very site. It is a huge amount of land that they're going to take up for both the development and then the operation of the power station. Let's go up and take a look. So to the left there, that is the old decommissioned Bradwell nuclear power station. We now refer to that as Bradwell A. And then shrouded in mist, just across the Blackwater Estuary, only two miles away, that's Mersey Island. We swing round to the east, and this is all the land that would be taken up during the potential building project to build Bradwell B. The area earmarked for this building development is around 200 hectares, and it would all be taken up with the storage of plant, machinery, materials, aggregate, all the site offices, security stations, and there would be at least one giant worker accommodation hotel. Once finished, the power station itself would only take around 30 hectares. So I'm now on Coast Road on Mersey Island and looking at the tip of the Denji Peninsula. Right beyond that little clump of trees is St Peter's on the Wall, the little chapel that St Seth came down from the north and made the first church in England as an inbound missionary. There's also the Athona community and right next to that is where they plan to have all the building works and possibly the accommodation blocks for the workers that may come and build Bradwell B should it go ahead. And this is the land that it will all take up. They're doing investigation works ground works and seismic activity examination to see whether the site will be suitable but it's going to be a huge mess whilst it would be built and somewhere along here the power station would actually land up being probably adjacent to the old Bradwell power station This video is really about place. We started off at the former RAF Bradwell Bay. We had a look on the ground. We had a look from the air. We then came over to here on Mersey Island. We had a look from Coast Road, what the view is across the narrow Blackwater estuary. But there are huge environmental designations on that site that they proposed to build Bradwell Bay. It's a triple SI, Sites of Special Scientific Interest. It's a National Nature Reserve. It's a Special Area of Conservation. It's a Special Protection Area. It's a Ramsar site. It's got significant archaeological artefacts, uh, including the church that I mentioned earlier, that St Seth came down, um, 654 AD. Similar to the opposition at Sizewell, 
they have those kind of designations and it's right next to the RSPB Minsmere Nature Reserve. It seems extraordinary that these places are still being considered. The Air Blackwater Estuary is a marine conservation zone. It is the home to an indigenous oyster and the Essex Native Oyster Restoration Initiative, Inori, is seeking to protect its habitat and to any increase, even a slight increase, half a degree centigrade increase in temperature of the estuary could wipe that out. And there's the flood risks. There was a flood risk assessment carried out in 2017 and it determined that that site is in flood zone 2 and a substantial amount is in flood zone 3 which is the worst. We know about sea level rise and the predicted sea level rise is still substantial enough even based on minimum predictions and yet the plan for the station is 10 to 12 years before it would be built then it would be in operation for around 60 years and then there would be a very lengthy time while it was being decommissioned and put into effectively what they call somewhat oddly safe storage for around 80 to 100 years before it came safe to dismantle and decommissioning the rest of it and then they're saying that the site should be returned to how it was before they started and when you look at the pictures of Hinkley Point C site that just seems an impossibility. There is no place that is the right place for any new nuclear power station. Thanks for watching, bearing with me as I bear my soul. Please do subscribe, check out the other videos and do leave a comment if you wish. I look forward to talking to you next time. Meanwhile, all the very best. It was the only Essex airfield to have FIDO, which is the, the fog investigation dispersal, hang on, operation. It was the only Essex.